A question that I answer all the time is uh, when it would be a good idea to use a sequence in HubSpot versus when it's a good idea to use a workflow in HubSpot. I'll cover the sequence topic right now. So there are two primary reasons when our clients opt for sequences. The biggest one is that they want the email to be delivered uh, directly to the recipient's inbox and really look authentically like that email was typed out just to that recipient. It's uh, non-branded, non-promotional, really just looks like a one-to-one -one email. And then the other reason why clients will opt for sequences is when um, the whole team needs to be empowered to enroll recipients as needed and uh, create their own flows without going back to the marketing team or an agency like Lead Love to set up something a little more complex like a workflow. So um, cover the first piece here, those emails that look just like you typed an email to the recipient. So this is what it looks like in HubSpot when you are in your sequences tool. And I'll just click into one of these standard templates. These are provided by HubSpot in any portal. But if you go to edit it, you can see the steps here. We've got an email, a task to make a phone call, another email call, and then another uh, manual follow-up task. So uh, that's what this one contains. And if you click edit, you can see what it looks like. Um, you've got very similar options to what you have in Gmail or Outlook. Um, so that's what that is. And then the next thing, empowering the entire team to complete these enrollments. Um, you can actually do this directly from your email inbox as you're going throughout your day. So I use Gmail. I'll show you what it looks like in my inbox. And then you have the exact same thing in Outlook. It just looks a little bit different in the view. But let's say I'm going to compose an email to Matt. Then I could just type uh, this one-off email to him uh, following up on that project. Um, or I can enroll him in a sequence. So click this button, select my test sequence here. And you'll get something similar to this, where you can see all of the automated follow-ups that are going to be happening once I click Start Sequence. So this is really nice because I don't have to remember to follow up in a week if I haven't heard anything. Um, HubSpot is going to do all of this for me. And it also gives me these nice reminders to populate the tokens that I don't have values for. Um, in an ideal scenario, if this were a real sequence, we would be using tokens that are consistently populated. So um, that should be clean. But then, yeah, I'll click Start Sequence. All of those things are going to get executed in the background. And then if I were to be working from HubSpot, I could do this same enrollment process for up to 49 contacts at a time, uh, which is nice. So if I'm an account manager and I need to send out a very similar announcement to 10 or 20 different contacts, uh, it's just a click of a button. So those are the two scenarios where I see sequences being used most commonly and most effectively in HubSpot.